How's it going guys, the Aussie Gaming King in today, got a brand new unboxing of The Witcher 2 Assassin's the King's Enhanced Edition. And um, holy shit, that is a long title. Uh, firstly, there's a chick on the cover who I do not know about. There's the magical guy who's the Witcher. And a dragon, which already looks cool. Um, so, it's MA15+, uh, with strong violence and um, sex scenes and that, which is awesome. Nah, I'm joking. Um, it says Witcher 2. I'm not going to say all that shit again. On the other side, it just says um, it again. So, firstly, it just has a little description about the game. Um, it's already won three awards, which is really good. Because it only came out a month ago or so. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Um, so, it has some key points, I guess, about the game. And it's one player, three megabytes to save game, and does not have online. Which does really suck. But um, anyway, let's uh, just rip this game open. Now this plastic is being a little bitch. <coughs> so that's like a little sleeve cover. Um, and then I mean, if you got some goodies, so you do get your money's worth. This game is heavy as, and I mean freaking heavy. I think it's actually heavier than L.A. Noir, which um, is actually quite surprising. So, um, yeah. When you pop it open, of course, you get your manual. Um, so it's good that I actually include a manual on, like, EA games. Um, so, yeah, there's, like, a little din in the manual. Um, I guess that's from shipping and that shit. So the manual is in black and white. Like any other normal manual these days. Um, and the manual is pretty thick as you can see there. So it does have three discs. It's got the Witcher 1. Witcher 2. I mean like the, on the game discs. And they are also nice to include a soundtrack. Which is awesome. Just to buying a new game. You know, sixty-eight dollars, whatever, and um, you get a soundtrack and everything with it. So you also get your little quest handbook, which is, I guess, is like a little strategy guide that tells you, um, you know, where to go in the game. Because I heard that this game was hard, so um, you know, it's a bit of a challenge for me uh, while playing this game. So that's why I pretty much picked it up. And that quest handbook is thick. And you also pay nothing for it. And you also get a map of this game. And as you can see, this game is going to be huge. And on the other side, it gives you more of the map. And uh, my little sleeve cover there just fell off. So this game is going to be fucking huge. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more other videos like this. For more unboxings, um and gameplays and all that crap. So yeah guys, catch you guys next time.